In New York City, protests were held in several neighborhoods with more than 345 arrests and attacks on at least 15 police vehicles. ABC's Zachary Keish has more for us. Good morning, Zachary. <clears throat> Eva, good morning to you. The street sweepers have been running back and forth on 14th Street trying to clean up what has been a messy situation. And just behind me here is Union Square, which is typically a melting pot. Last night, it was really ground zero or the center point of this conflict between the community and the police. You're seeing video now of some of these violent clashes happening. In many ways, this is the voice of hopelessness. You see folks taking over uh, this police cruiser. That happened several times, many uh, uh, interactions just like this. We're told that at least uh, 30 cops were injured and at least 300 arrests were made. Protesters were out in response to the death of George Floyd uh, for the second night here, but it, it can't be minimized that the hurt on some level is homegrown. There's Amadou Diallo, Ramarley Graham, Eric Gardner. There are issues right here in New York City, and I think the, the interconnectedness of this is what we're seeing across the country. Literally uh, thousands of planes here in New York City that have not been heard, and we saw some of that frustration uh, come out. Now, the police are being criticized uh, for some videos that are surfacing online in, in regards to their encounters with protesters. The mayor says police were put in an, an impossible situation. It should also be noted uh, that the mayor campaigned on police reform, and many people here believe that hasn't happened. Eva? All right, Zachary Keish for us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.